Hey, how you doing everybody? Welcome back to Big Frog's 4x4. Today I want to talk to you about AC refrigerant. Alright, you might know that current automobiles are using an R134A refrigerant to cool for your AC system. Well, that's changing. The new refrigerant that we're starting to switch over to here to in the United States is an R1234YF. Now the systems have pretty much stayed the same to this point. Pretty much going to be designed the same. You still have an evaporator, you still have a condenser, you still have a compressor, you still have a dryer. But what they use in them now is supposed to be better for the environment. Refrigerant is measured in GWP, Global Warming Potential. Now the R134A that we currently use has a GWP of just over 1400. And the new R1234YF is only four. Now Europe has already mandated, starting in 2017, that all vehicles use a 1234YF or an equivalent style refrigerant for their AC systems. They can no longer use a 134A. R1234YF was a joint development between DuPont and Honeywell. Even though they were going to distribute and manufacture them separately, they worked together to produce and create this formula. Currently, 1234YF is being used by about 16 manufacturers across different vehicles. I'm going to list the vehicles that I could find here in the U.S. that are currently using it. The list could be larger. This is the most recent list that I could find of vehicles. The BMW i3 electric. The new Jeep Cherokee, the Ford Transit, the Cadillac XTS, the Malibu, the Chevrolet Malibu, the Chevrolet Trax, the Hyundai Santa Fe, and the Hyundai i30, the Kia Sorento, Optima, Land Rover, and Range Rover, and Land Ro and Range Rover Sport, the Mazda X CX5, the Mitsubishi Mirage. Infiniti Q50, the Subaru BRZ, Impreza, and Forester, and the Chevy Colorado. Now in the U.S., 1234, <laughs> sorry, every time I say 1234, it makes me think of the count from Sesame Street. One, two, three, four, ah, ah, ah. Now 1234YF is not mandated yet in the United States. But they are expecting it to be by 2021, a lot of that due to the emissions and output of the tailpipe tests and that sort of thing. Now 1234YF is flammable. It will come in a red can and it will take a special machine. You cannot mix it with 134A. The fittings will not be the same on the vehicles that use a 1234. You cannot use cans of R134A on a 1234 vehicle. There you have it, 1234YF. I think you're gonna see it more and more production throughout the next couple of years, probably be mandated in every vehicle by 2021. As always, hit that like button, subscribe, God bless. On a personal note, if anybody's wondering what the spot is on my face, it's a small spot of skin cancer. Don't worry, it's not going to be, it's not melanoma, it's, I forget what the name of it is, it's just a surface style cancer, we're treating it with an ointment that will eventually eat away the cancer, but you'll see it more and more uh, in future videos, it'll probably get brighter, it'll probably get redder, it might even be bleeding to points, obviously I'm going to try to not put that in a video, but I just want to let you know that this is nothing to be you guys concerned about, it's not, ooh, a disgusting growth on his face, it is a spot of cancer and it is being treated.